potato, perhaps one of the healthiest food you can eat, according to Nutrition Action, an American nutrition advocacy group. Potatoes top the list of 10 best foods that you should eat, along with many fruits and vegetables. In fact, fresh potatoes contains lots of vitamin and minerals. It is an excellent source of vitamin C, B1, B3, and B6, as well as potassium, magnesium, and phosphorus. However, Potato is also part of another list, the top 10 unhealthiest food, along with soda, burgers, and many canned food. It is commonly known that when potato is fried, it is very bad for your health. So, the question is, is potato healthy or not? In this video, we will investigate into deep frying chemical reaction and understand why such reaction can turn some of the best food on the planet to something that you should avoid at all costs. First, we need to define what is deep frying. Deep frying potato basically means submerging potato into hot oil. Traditional water-related cooking methods can only get up to 100 degrees Celsius. However, as oil's boiling point is a lot higher than water, cooking temperature can get way higher than 100 degrees. We went out and observed the difference between normal potato and fried potato. We found out that deep fried potato is oilier has a gold brown color and has some special flavorings that we can't find in normal potato. From these observations, we concluded that during deep frying, potato must have undergone many physical changes and chemical changes. We think that the oily feel of fried potato is because of the absorption during deep frying, or simply an uptick of oil. In order to see whether potato really has gained fat after being deep fried, we have to carry out an experiment. In this experiment, we will extract fat from deep fried potato. In this experiment, we've prepared some homemade fried potato with corn oil. We have cut out 5 grams of deep fried potato from it. Then we place it into 250 ml dry flask. We measure 5 grams of hexane into the flask. Hexane molecules are relatively non-polar, since like dissolves like. Fats will be soluble in hexane, while the other constituents of the potato like carbohydrates, salts, and water will remain insoluble. After swelling the flask for about a minute, hexane and the dissolved fat are disposed. This process is repeated for two more times to ensure that all fats are dissolved and removed. Now, a water bath is set up. The high temperature will evaporate all hexane. After 5 minutes, the flask is removed from the water bath and any drop of water from its surface is cleaned. Now we measure the mass of the flask with the potato and the reading is 121.58 grams. By subtracting this mass from the mass of the flask, we can clearly see that the fried potato has 0.65 grams of fat. The whole experiment is repeated again, but this time with boiled potato. The result is 0.07 grams of fat. With some simple calculation, we can clearly see that the fat uptake percentage during deep frying is as astonishing 878.5% That is, the potato has actually uptake 8 times the amount of fat 
when it is compared to its original fat content. These two simple experiments clearly illustrate that there is an enormous fat uptake by the potato during deep frying process. The obvious reason to this is that all of the potato's surface area is exposed to oil. That means fat is absorbed from all directions instead of just the bottom like most oil cooking methods do. However, we think that the greatest part of fat absorption takes place after removing the fried potato from oil. During deep frying, the water vapors are released from the inside of the fried foods by small channels. When the fried food is taken out of the frying oil, air cools down in the channels and develops a vacuum, which absorbs the fat on the surface and sucks it into the channels. We all know that Fat is bad for us. However, a chemical reaction that takes place during deep frying called hydrogenation makes the matter even worse. So, how does hydrogenation take place? During deep frying, some of the fat will be hardened and form trans fat. Two hydrogen atoms are added across the carbon carbon double bond converting saturated fatty acid, which is an alkene, into trans fat, which is an alkene. Trans fat is also called unsaturated fat due to the presence of a double bond. Such fat will lead to heart diseases, cancer, diabetes, obesity, and even prompt heart attack and stroke. Another reaction taking place when potato is fried, it's called Maillard reaction. Potatoes are rich in carbohydrates, usually in the form of glucose and fructose. Under high temperature during deep frying, carbohydrates start to break down. The carbonyl group, which is C double bond O, reacts with asparagine, which is a kind of amino acid. One of the products formed is acrylamide. The acrylamide is particularly harmful to humans. Recent researches indicate that it can cause cancer, nerve damage, muscle weakness, and impaired muscle coordination. With all these negative health impacts, we wonder why we still deep fry potato. We think the answer is simple. Tasty! During deep frying, there are many desirable chemical reactions and physical changes. Take Mylod reaction that we mentioned earlier as an example. Besides asparagine, Mylod reaction also leads to the accumulation of flavorings and lead to the colorization, which contributes to the brownish look of fried potato. Other favorable reactions when potato is fried include dehydration. The massive reduction of water during rapid heating in oil introduces a crispy and dry texture to french fries. Last but not the least, another important desirable chemical reaction takes place during deep frying is called pyrolysis or caramelization. Such reaction can simply be understood as the oxidation of sugar. Potato contains fructose and glucose. Fructose and glucose are reducing sugars. That means they are strong reducing agents. It can lose electrons, reduce other while undergo oxidation with ease. During heating, the oxidation reaction takes place more rapidly. The resulting products are very unique, which contributes to fried potatoes' brownish look and special flavors. To sum up, Fresh potato is some of the best food you can find. However, even though the deep frying process has introduced many desirable flavorings, colorings, and textures to potato, it also produces toxic chemicals. We discovered that most of the harmful reactions have two common characteristics. They require lots of oil, 
and intense heat. In other words, we can avoid these harmful reactions by cooking potatoes without oil and with less heat. For example, boiling potato is a much healthier way of cooking potato. When it comes to cooking potato, why can't we be creative? Microwave potatoes. Yes, we have tried to microwave potato, and microwave potatoes can mimic some of the taste of deep fried potato. Yet it doesn't involve lots of oil and enhanced heating. So, going back to our ultimate question of this video, is potato healthy or not? Well, it all depends on how you cook it.